Hi everyone, KCTV5 meteorologist Brett Anthony with another one of our KCTV5 weather experiments. While you're learning at home, we've been doing our own uh, at home uh, weather instruments. We built a rain gauge, we built a wind gauge, and now today we are going to build a barometer. And this is a real easy thing to do. You need a glass jar, you cut a balloon and you stretch that across the top of the glass jar. And then what you'll wanna do is glue a straw to the top of that. At the end of the straw, you're gonna put a little pin. You can glue that to the end of the straw. Now, get a spool of uh, thread, insert a pencil, and then you're gonna draw your high pressure in a couple lines, the middle line, which would be the standard barometric pressure, which is equal to 29.92. But for this demonstration, it's just our equal or uh, pressure that we'll, we'll think about being equal or even, and then low pressure down here to the bottom of the page. All right, so what happens is that the atmosphere, when there's high pressure, it pushes down on the balloon, and then watch what the needle does. The needle will rise. When there's lower pressure, the pressure inside the jar will be greater, and it will pull the needle down toward low pressure. Now you can set this aside and wait, put it outside or put it in your house even, and then go back during the day and check it at different times and see if that needle has moved. And then you can record whether or not you have high pressure. Typically, if we have high pressure, it's gonna be a sunny day. If we have low pressure, there's likely gonna be a lot of clouds and a lot of rain. But that's just one way to measure the barometric pressure using a very simple at-home made device. That's another one of our weather demonstrations. We'll have another one coming up on our KCTV5 weather experiments. That's tomorrow morning at 930.